Hi there, Toy here, and I just want to say I've missed you guys. So I am here um, to just, you know, kind of do this thing that I do where I count my blessings, and I want to start off by acknowledging how kind of messed up the world is right now. Um, I think we all know, um, I don't know how you couldn't, but you know, um, people are still struggling with and dying from COVID-19 right now. Um, people are out of work or, you know, struggling to get back to work. People are trying to navigate social distancing. And then there's the other thing, the thing that every person of color has been living with their entire life, but specifically the fact that black people have been dying at the hands of the people who should be protecting them, whether it be their police, their local governments, their neighbors. And so I just want to say that I am blessed today because it is Juneteenth and people all over the country are either celebrating it or recognizing it. It's one of those things that I grew up celebrating and knowing about my whole life, but I know there was a lot of black people who didn't know about it and even more white people who didn't know about it because it wasn't taught in school. So many things aren't taught in school. But I think the reason why this Juneteenth celebration is so significant right now is because it's part of a greater movement where people who have been trying to ignore what's been going on for so long can finally not ignore it. They just can't. And a lot of people, you know, suffer from this delusion that once, rape, once slavery ended, that everything was, you know, hunky-dory. But even slavery itself didn't end the way it was supposed to. Two years after Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, there were still slaves slaving away in Texas before Union soldiers finally came and said, hey, you're free. And for all those people who thought, well, you know, slavery was the end of it, they're now beginning to understand that the end of slavery was just the beginning of this greater struggle. So I'm here to say that I am blessed because I have been surrounded by family and friends who are caring and supportive and anyone who hasn't been caring and supportive is no longer in my life. And I am perfectly fine with that because there's just no room left in my life for anyone who has a problem with the color of someone's skin, who has a problem with the slant of someone's eyes, who has a problem with the way someone walks, the way someone talks. I don't have time for it in my life anymore. There's nothing wrong with people being different and there's nothing wrong with people disagreeing, but there is something wrong with people being held back systemically based on these things. And I am blessed today because while things are not where they should be, at least now we're kind of going in the right direction. For so long, people have been saying that things are better now than they were before. But are they really? Maybe for a little while that was true. But lately, it's been right back to the way it was. But that's changed in the past few weeks, and I am so blessed. And I hope you are too. Please, be careful out there. Make it home safe.